Let me tell you a story that happened this week. You know, I've had, I've had, I've had a big change in my life. You know, I've, yeah, I, I consider it a big benchmark. You know, I've, I've, I've become a single dad. Yeah, to, to a crow. Yeah. Somebody on Tuesday gave me gave me a crow. You know, because uh, my life is a cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> that's the vibe I give off. You know, give me a crow. That's how I look. You know? <laughs> uh, it was a very uh, Pokemon encounter. You know, I, I walk in a park every day, and then I walk past this old man's house. So I see, I've been seeing him for every day for maybe a year. And this one time, he was my personal Chinese professor Oak. You know? he, he was like, hey, hey, come here, come here. I have three baby crows. Two of them are big. So. Uh, you know, you have to take the last one. He's like, you want to take the last one? I was like, I don't know, it's a lot of responsibility, but I, I didn't just plan to keep a crow today. But maybe, maybe I'll go home and sit on it, and you know, I'll, I'll, I'll think about buying a bird cage. And he was like, I have a bird cage here. <laughs> and I was like, I guess I have a crow now. <laughs> and I, I, I really do feel like uh, I understand people who have human kids now. Um, because I, I can't wait for this guy to grow up and get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> it shit so much. Yeah. I was considering like starting a, a, a vlog, you know, like documenting this whole thing. Because people do that now online, right? They're like, day one, I'll raise it a crow. Day two, I'll raise it a crow, right? But what I'm hesitant about is that uh, I, might, I might kill it. <laughs> so then like, day four, I'll raise it a crow. Day five, I'm cooking a crow. <laughs> <laughs> In Chinese culture, we use crow for to make our big harder.